Hey guys, Dr. Justin Marcajani here. Today we're going to be talking about red light and infrared light and your thyroid. I got my handy dandy little class 3B medical grade laser. This is powerful, 1.2 milliwatts. It's the Avant, it's the um, LZ30, so it's the top notch one. Really powerful. It's frequency specific, so you have the two major frequencies. I'll just show you here briefly. So I can either put it on, let's say I want to do arthritis. I can go between infrared at 100%, I can toggle down but I can go to red light too, and I can also set it to go in between, which is pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna be talking about laser for thyroid today. There's two major frequencies that you'll find in the scientific literature. If you go to PubMed or just go to ChatGPT and say, hey, pull up all the studies on red light in the six, mid 600 nanometer frequency and the infrared somewhere between eight, 850 to 1000, that's gonna be your, your near infrared frequency. There's lots of studies on that being very helpful for thyroid inflammation. What you'll find on there is not a lot of people talk about using it conventionally, which is a little bit shocking. I'm gonna change it to thyroid. So the frequency is how the light turns off and on. There we go. And so part of this is from like the Dr. Reif, Royal Rice work, where he looked at different frequencies and saw how they harmonize with different tissues. I'm not sure how that work was done. I don't quite understand it, but they were able to look at resonance and how that frequency light going off and on resonated with certain tissues, skin, hair, pigments, organs. And so I have it on a thyroid frequency. So the wavelength is the same. So this is gonna be in the 650 nanometer. So red light does not penetrate that much. So you'll, you know, you're gonna get more surface. The thyroid's here. I would always pair this with infrared because infrared is known to go four centimeters deep. So I can go right over the thyroid tissue. The biggest issue with this is it can increase your thyroid function, thus decreasing your thyroid need. Therefore, your thyroid dosage may be too high. So you'll see a lot of people talking about laser being contraindicated for your thyroid, and it is. If you're not being responsible, if you're not going back with your doctor and letting them know what you're doing and that your dose may have to be altered, yeah, it may be a problem. So my, my professional opinion is as long as you're talking to your doctor and they're letting you, hey, they're giving you the thumbs up, you show a scientific article or two and you say, hey, let's just test it, I think it's helpful. Now, where it's really good is because because it can improve mitochondrial function, mitochondrial density, it can increase energy. You may see a bump in thyroid function. If you have active Hashimoto's where you have an autoimmune attack happening, it can lower the antibodies. It can decrease the inflammation, thus potentially increasing thyroid function because inflammation is lower. So I have it on red light right now. And of course, I got these OD3 glasses that'll block 99% of red light. These are OD3 plus for red and they're OD6 plus for infrared. So I'm like 99 to 100% protected. So I know what I'm doing, but if you weren't as quite as used to it, put these glasses on to start and you can hit these area like this. And now I can toggle right here. I'm gonna toggle go thyroid again. Now I'm going to go to infrared. Now it says IR. So it looks more subtle, but now this is going deeper. This is going four centimeters deep. So this is really good for joint pain, inflammation in the joints, because it can go, you know, it can go that deep into the tissue. So you can get it right over here. I always feel a little bit more energized and a little better after a good red light session, especially over my thyroid. So really wonderful way to improve thyroid function. My thing is, it's going to be contraindicated in most areas. And you have to understand why it's contraindicated, because it can lower um, it can improve your thyroid levels, thus making the dose of thyroid hormone that you're on potentially too high. So get your you know, confirmation from your doc who's managing your thyroid and make sure that you are adjusting the dose accordingly. Now I have the Thyroid Reboot book is finally out, thyroidreboot.com. That'll refer you over to the Amazon page. I got the Kindle on sale right now, hardcover's beautiful. Um, I go into a lot of these things. I talk about a little bit about the laser. I think it's a really cool kind of side note option because when people have autoimmune issues, what do you do? Well, when it comes to a lot of conditions, IBD, joint pain, it's anti-inflammatory medications that have lots of side effects. It's biologics, it's immuno, immunosuppressing drugs. And it's nice to have something that's more gentle and it works and there aren't a lot of side effects for it and has a lot of other side benefits like bumping up the mitochondria, improving um, memory and blood flow. So a lot of good benefits with light, light energy, which is what laser is, right? And again, you have LED panels and you have lasers. So lasers, they're a little bit different in a way. If you look at the definition of LED, 
versus a laser, right? So when you look at them, LED stands for light emitting diode. So you can still get energy and frequency out of that for sure. With laser, I'm gonna pull up the exact definition. And I'm gonna pull up the exact definition. It's gonna be far more powerful. because of the coherence, because of the frequency. So light amplification, stimulated emission radiation, right? And so the amplification is gonna go deeper, uh, monochromatic and coherence. That means the wavelengths are gonna be in sync and a laser emits a light in a narrow beam. So it goes a lot deeper, a lot deeper, a lot more penetrating. Like a red light, like I have my juve light right in the corner there, you can technically look in that direction, not a problem. If I looked at this guy right in my eye for too long, it could fry out my retina and cause blindness. And so obviously there's a different energy uh, frequency, different energy wavelength coming in there. Uh, it wouldn't have the same warning labels on the devices. So this is infrared right now, and I have it on thyroid, and you can go right up against it. So it's cool. They to have other modalities. There are people that have a chronic high thyroid antibodies for a long time, and of course, this would never substitute for diet or just having baseline nutrition on board, right? This would be a supplement to that. And again, my big thing is this is not meant to treat your thyroid. Go to your conventional doctor, but if you want to use this modality, I think it's powerful and just loop them in and make sure you're taking your labs and adjusting the dose if that need be, um, especially with antibodies. Antibodies are, they can really impact thyroid function. And if we have ways to lower it outside of the, the core things like vitamin D and glutathione and avoiding gluten and blood sugar, this is really cool. So again, in my book, I talked about it here. Again, this is the LZ30. This is the professional gray one. These things go for like anywhere between seven to 8,000. There are ones for half the price, but it's, it's a good modality. I use it a lot for, right now I'm actually using it on my hair as well to stimulate. I got a little bit of gray right here. I use it to stimulate a little bit of melanin production. Also some peptides as well, some, some melano gray and melano tan peptides to stimulate the melanin in there. So I'm doing it a little bit. Now again, for that, I would actually go over, I have a hair frequency that I would use that stimulates the hair follicle. So I use the hair frequency, which would, the goal of this would be to decrease the inflammation and to um, decrease the hydrogen peroxide at the follicle level, which it actually dyes your hair. So it's the hydrogen peroxide due to oxidative stress and aging. And so if you can decrease some of the hydrogen peroxide, then you're going to have less um, staining of the hair, so to speak. So we talked about a little bit of thyroid and talked about a little bit of hair here. And again, it's same frequency, sorry, same wavelength. Wavelength is 650 plus or minus 1020. And then it's the frequency is the on off that harmonizes with the tissue. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want more information, more great info on the thyroid, thyroidreboot.com, link down below. Enjoy it. It's my life's work. It really is. There'll be a course coming out for practitioners and patients who want more of this kind of interaction and talking about all the things I do to get great thyroid success. Again, link down below if you want to reach out as a potential patient. Uh, link down below if you want to reach out and to get functional medicine care worldwide. My team is happy to see if you're a good fit. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Here's to health. Oh, and if you want to get a laser like this as well, there may be a link down below working with a couple companies that can help distribute maybe not this kind of model, but there are some lower end models that can still help. So if you want to look at and see if you're a good fit, we'll put a link down below for um, accessing a laser like this. Hope that helps.